Kelly. I'm from McGuire Kitchen and Bath, and today we're going to take you through a kitchen renovation that we actually collaborated on with Drake Builders. Um, so we were the designers on the project and provided all of the cabinetry and the revisions of the layout, but we worked closely with the clientele of the um, builder to um, help them remodel the kitchen. So come on in. So originally this kitchen had one of those traditional peninsulas. So you saw the peninsula come out from the right side of the kitchen here and there was about three kitchen stools, but this family has four young kids. So one of the things that we really wanted to be able to do is get some seating for four at this kitchen. So, um, so rather than having this peninsula where the refrigerator was tucked in that back corner, um, we made the option to change the refrigerator location and put a pantry in that corner so we could get a nice big island in this kitchen and that was one of the sticking points I think that the clients loved the most. So um, very colonial home, so they wanted to be very traditional in their, in their choices but wanted to have a little bit of fun with color. So we did a web gray at the island and then finished it with um, the carpentry that the three builders did was great with all the furniture base around the corner. So very simple, but those little details do sometimes make a big difference. Like the kitchen, like the end panel you see here at the um, side of the refrigerator is not void of detail because it has a little furniture base at the end here. Um, next we come in, so you have some functionality too. So having a trash base right at the island with some cutlery at top, um, a nice big drawer for your rental wrap and things like that. And then two rollout shelves for overspill of baking goods and pots and pans. A nice microwave drawer because we decided to do a custom, uh, not a custom, a stainless steel hood above the range. So it gave that nice wow moment within the kitchen. And then um, over in the corner here, we love these, the Le Mans corner turnouts. So rather than things going in the corner to just um, die and then you only see once a year, you can easily access whatever you have on those in that corner and then um, another thing I loved about this kitchen was the shelves that were made by the builder so he actually went and selected this wood from a vendor called Yankee Pine up in Ipswich and he was able to create these shelves for the corner which just added in that nice warm moment rather than just having it be so much cabinetry it gives a little bit of breath to the kitchen and also another element of texture and color which we loved so um, simple backsplash so Subway style, but it's a three by 12 um, in scale with a little bit of movement. So this is a ceramic tile. Um, and then a nice 30 inch range. And then over here, um, we actually hung these, these cabinets shallow. So this acts as sort of a bar servery. Um, if you're entertaining and you wanted to have maybe a cocktail station here, which they do a lot. Um, and then over, over the um, those shallow cabinets, we did a wall cabinet with just glassware. So if you wanted to just split, display some of the, the wine glasses as they did here. But having this depth was really important. So rather than having that standard depth of the 24 inch base cabinet, hanging them shallow allows you to be able to walk through this back door. If people are sitting here and you have a proper clearance um, back behind the island. So that's the kitchen and thanks for, thanks for following along.